Hey there PC users, have you ever felt like your hard drive is hanging on by a digital thread, packed full of work files, family photos or that one software you swear you'll use someday? Well, as a content creator myself, I often find my hard drive space insufficient due to storing a large amount of images, video footage and various project files. So in the end, I had to upgrade to a larger hard drive. Now if you remember, I made a video about cloning your hard drive to a new SSD. Well, turns out, some of you had questions. Very confused questions. But don't worry, as promised, I'll walk you through it without any hard to understand jargons or steps. Just a perfect copy of your hard drive. Oh, and if you're wondering, why would one want to clone their hard drive? Could be a few reasons, such as you finally upgrading to a bigger SSD, swapping out a dying drive, or maybe just want a backup that's not held together by duct tape and hope. So let's go ahead and fix it. First, you will need a new drive. Could be an SSD or HDD. Just make sure it is bigger than the space you're currently using. Then, a way to connect such as cables, adapters, or if your PC allows, slapping it inside. And lastly, ease us disk copy. If you don't have it, let's go ahead and install it from the link in the description below and grab disk copy. It will install like any other app or software. Open it and you'll see four very important buttons. All right, so some of you might be thinking, what's the difference between disk mode and system mode? Well, disk mode is mainly for cloning data drives. Let's say you've got a second SSD where you store games, movies or files and it doesn't have Windows installed on it. That's where disk mode comes in. It just copies the whole drive. Simple and clean. Whereas system mode is for when your drive does have windows on it. So if you're upgrading your main hard drive and want to move everything over including windows and your settings, system mode clones it all. And lastly, partition mode. It clones a specific part of your drive, could be your D drive or E drive, without messing with the rest. But you can skip all of that since we're only going to be using system mode today. Now, this part is extremely crucial as it's essential to make sure the correct disk is selected. As you can see, that is your source disk, aka your current drive where all your important stuff is. For most of us, the C drive. And this is your target disk. Basically, your new drive waiting to become an exact clone. Remember, the cloning process will erase all the data on your target disk, so don't forget to back up in case it is needed. Now, after selecting system mode, this tool will automatically identify the source disk, the one containing your Windows system. And then you can choose the target drive. Once you've picked your mode and selected the drive, you'll see some disk layout options pop up. Most of the time, it's totally fine to just let it auto-adjust. It does the job well and saves you the hassle. But if you want the new hard drive to look exactly like your old one, no changes, you can go with clone as source. Keep in mind, if your new drive has more space, the extra space might not show up right away. And if that's the case, you'll need to hop into disk management afterward and manually resize the partitions to make the most of the extra storage. If you look here, there's also a manual edit option right here. But if you're not very familiar with it, just don't go with it and just stick with auto and you'll be just fine. Now go ahead and hit proceed Ignore the scary warning about data being erased because we backed up the drive, right? All that is left is to wait. This could take minutes to hours depending on how much digital baggage you've got. Okay, the cloning's finished. Now let's check if your new disk is working right. Just restart your computer and press the BIOS key to open the BIOS menu. The key depends on your PC's make, so if you don't know it, a quick Google search will help. Once inside, look for boot priority or boot order. Choose your new hard drive as the boot device, save and exit. It should boot from that drive now. If everything's good, you'll get your desktop and be able to use all your files and apps like before. If you encounter any issues, please leave a comment below to let me know. If everything's working fine, go ahead and shut down. Then depending on what you need, either take out the old hard drive or wipe it and keep it as a secondary one. Just be sure you know what you're doing. That is it for now. You've officially cloned your hard drive without causing an earthquake in the tech world. If this helped you, tell me in the comments below. And in case of any questions, you know we're always ready to help. Until next time.